Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, most markets are up a little bit this morning as uh, Chinese data came out overnight, which was uh, a little bit better than what was expected, so not quite so much of a, of a potential slowdown out there, which has been a, a shot in the arm for most Asian markets, but it also helped bring up a lot of the uh, European and US markets as well. The US 30 trying to, atta uh, trying to attempt to break 17.546. Technicals are still relatively neutral. Um, long like a candle yesterday with a, a, a negative day. This would normally be quite a bad technical signal, but the fundamentals were already in the technicals in the short term. There's still not a huge springboard of, uh, of activity expected as we get closer to Thursday's ECB. Uh, it's all about are they going to have quantitative easing? Will it be 600 million euros? Will it, um, oh, sorry, 600 billion? Will it be closer to a trillion? Uh, it's, they're probably going to just ease on the gas slightly. Uh, I think a lot of uh, a lot of traders would prefer way more quantitative easing, um, but I, uh, it's quite possible that they'll just do a, a smaller tranche to begin with to leave themselves more room for manoeuvre before uh, and a bid to combat deflation, especially with oil prices um, spiralling down, the, but the economy still struggling to push on that little bit higher. So there's not unbelievable good news, albeit um, the Germany 30 is currently trading at an all-time high, incidentally, in anticipation for, for Thursday's event. So looking at the UK 100, um, we have been up a lot higher, but more more of a positive picture for on the on the short term chart action for the UK 100 versus the US 30. Um, the longer term potential resistance 6686. Um, we might have a springboard of uh, of support around about 6589. Uh, though it's been a little bit of a shaky start for the UK 100 first thing this morning. Uh, still in positive territory, but only just as of now. So looking at Japan 2 to 5, uh, that's a very very big shot in the arm. The uh, the figure figures from China overnight. Um, potential resistance 17,496. We're trading above both moving averages. We've got a bullish cross on the MACD, and the other technicals are relatively neutral, indicating that there could be further momentum uh, for the price action to move higher in Japan to do five. And dollar yen has reversed course a lot since the 18th of January, the last couple of days. Um, we're now back at 118 spot 27 as a um, risk back on, at least in the short term anyway, seems to be the flavor of the day. So looking at um, dollar yen, uh, we're trading above the 20, 55 period SMA, looking at 118 spot 99, 119 it's a potential resistance, which also coincide with that 21 period SMA cap. If we break and close above that, obviously 121.87 should be should be next. Albeit there is a lot of uncertainty out there, um, especially considering um, European economy slowdown and a lot of the APAC countries as well. If you if you, if you pull China out of the mix over in Asia, still a lot of those uh, those economies do seem to be struggling. So looking at West Texas crude, seems to be back on the slide, dropping a couple of cents overnight. Um, nothing, to be honest, there's not really that much to uh, to report here, albeit this candle here still sticks out like a sore thumb from a technical analysis perspective. That, that should still be seen as quite negative, but we do seem to be uh, building a bit of a base quite close to $47. We're quite close to there right now. Um, that level has not changed. So looking at gold, uh, bouncing around 1273 as a potential support level now, still targeting almost $1,300 the next potential resistance. Um, should the US dollar uh, weaken ever so slightly, if the markets do sell off, gold's quite well positioned to take the next step step up. But if um, equities continue to uh, to kind of grind higher, um, then gold probably will um, sneak down ever so slightly. Again, it all depends what happens on Thursday. So moving on to the FX pairs, you got your dollar. Um, it had a slight retracement to one spot sixteen forty two, uh, quite well. Um, quite well positioned I guess for the next move down if that is a retracement back up to potential resistance some people might sell here with a stop a little bit on the other side uh, failing that if we do get a, a move to the upside one spot 1872 is the next potential resistance not expecting a huge amount of activity on your dollar until Thursday then moving on to uh, cable cables start to come off again um, Potential short term potential support one spot fifty thirty one longer term potential support one spot forty eight thirteen um, not a yes. huge uh, amount to talk about right there no no retracement uh, back up to one spot fifty one eighty five which could be useful for some traders who want to take more of a bearish view if they get a move back up to here this could be a short element right here stop loss on this side 
targeting this lower level, albeit if we break and close above here, you'd be targeting one spot 54.24 should cable reverse tax. So economic data wise, we do have the ZEW business report. That is actually something that could help impact euro dollar and the Germany 30, which is now currently trading at uh, 10,273. Um, looking on Wednesday, there is UK data, not a lot. And then it's all about Thursday. There's loads. You've got um, P you've got um, German PMI, you've got um, UK um, public sector net borrowing, you've got employment claims, um, you've got the crude oil inventory data, CPI from the Eurozone, and of course you do have the ECB decision as well. So lots and lots of things coming out on Thursday, that's the big day. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum for more technical trade setups for our global analyst team. Make insights part of your layer going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.